it has to be a calling. When you put on your uniform, you just never know what the day is going to bring. You see people when they are at their most vulnerable. And it's why you have to be called for us. What people tend to forget is that we, like you, can be vulnerable. And that we too are human. So who are we? And who is? When I woke up in ICU, the doctor was there showing me a picture on his cell phone of my kidney that was torn. I had a bad feeling that night that something is gonna happen to me. So uh, I dropped my mother at my brother's house just for in case I didn't make it back home. Um, yeah, but I was right with not going home. I went home uh, 11 days after that night. ER24 can confirm that a 27-year-old ER24 paramedic is being treated in the intensive care unit of a hospital in Alberton after being injured while attending to a patient in Funabale Park. After the accident, uh, I first assessed the patient, see if the patient sustained any further injuries. And as I looked further backwards for my partner, Kunrod, I had noticed that he, he wasn't in the ambulance anymore. And as I stepped out of the ambulance, I noticed my crew partner laying on the floor. He was complaining of pain. We bijen keer dat trouw ook gaan aanpas en zij teruggekomen en zij was vreselijk opgewonden geweest. En hij had zijn allemaal daar gezet en hij was bezig om nog van die trouw goed uit te halen te kijken wat het er en wat niet. En toen lei die voeren en toen die voeren naar het ontzet gezien er bijna dat spier werd en toen begon zij te huilen. Ik heb de vakantie voor een gebal. En uh, hij heeft niet geantwoord nie. En uh, ik heb dus een broer gebouwd wat altijd in de zitten gezet het. En uh, zijn broer was voor mij gezegd, kom bij de hospitaal uit. En uh, mijn moeder heeft mij het gevat. En ja. Uh, yeah. I didn't realize actually what was happening at that stage. I just heard the people screaming. And then I hear sirens and uh, then six days after that I woke up in ICU. Then uh, I realized what actually happened to me and it was quite a big shock. My dream is to become a helicopter pilot. So uh, one day before I'm old and I am a pilot and I also want to fly for the emergency services. My dream for, for Koenraad is that um, all his dreams will be true. Every one of them, for all the one to fly. That um, he will get some flags and, and fly. We appreciate all that he's done. Uh, we will continue to support him as a branch and as colleagues. And the little gift that we've given to him is just a reminder of what each and every medic faces every day when they turn up at work and that they are appreciated. And we are glad as a branch that Kunrad has, is making a full recovery and we look forward to having him back at base again and seeing him in that ambulance doing what he loves doing the most. He's just one of those people that, that you want to be around. He, he, makes you look forward to your shifts at work and he makes you look forward to every call that you go out on. This Who Is episode is the first of a new ER24 web series. To see more, subscribe to the ER24 EMS YouTube channel. Like ER24 EMS PTY Limited on Facebook. Or follow us on Twitter at ER24 EMS. You can also visit our blog. Just search ER24.info.